Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Ben Strock. I'm a local real estate broker. I'm here to show you one of my favorite coastal towns in California, Aptos. Pronounce it Aptos, you're probably gonna get cut off by the locals. Anyway, the reason people love living here is the redwood trees and the forest leading right down to the ocean and the beach. The lifestyle here and the climate, people never wanna leave. Okay, come on guys, I wanna show you, we're gonna walk up the street here into the Aptos Village. This place is brand new, but it's historic and it looks old. And they brought in some elements that are wicked cool. What makes Aptos so special? Why do people keep coming back here? Aptos was named by the Native Americans that were here for thousands of years. All of Aptos today was actually once a single land grant owned by Rafael Castro. Entrepreneurs like Castro, Spreckles, and Heen made Aptos profitable while putting this place on the map for us all to enjoy today. Changes in industry fueled the growth of what makes Aptos so unique today. From the first wharf to the early railroads and the historic village of Aptos, each place is hugely important to the past and present day. So we're here in the new Aptos village, and this is really the epitome of how we've seen change in our community for the better. We used to have only an antique shop here in the old Hain Apple Barn. Now we have a thriving community of restaurants, shops, and all sorts of amenities close by. I know when I bring my family here, we're gonna have a good time and enjoy the outdoor scenery. This Aptos village is so cool. Between the old Bayview Hotel and the Hein Apple Barn, this brand new downtown expansion builds on the site of the original historic Aptos village. After the timber industry declined, apples replaced the lumber. Hein's Apple Barn was where record numbers of apples were once sorted and shipped all around the world. As today's recent development came into focus, the Hein Apple Barn was chosen as the iconic centerpiece and is now the home to a New Leaf grocery store. The original railroad here at Nicene Marks Forest provided a pivotal shipping point for lumber as well as bringing new generations of residents to town. What is Nicene Mark State Forest today? It used to be the site of a major lumber mill and a full lumber town of Loma Prieta. After the area was almost completely, but not entirely clear cut, the land was purchased and is now protected. And it's been turned into a major state park, home to countless folks, cyclists, and runners today. Nothing remains of the old town, but you can still see the cut down trunks of old redwood growth on any given trail. There's just something about having this forest in your backyard. I come up here with my kids on the weekends, my son's out biking, my daughter's out petting the banana slugs, and then here we are, surrounded by the tallest trees in the world, yet so close to the beach and amenities here in Aptos. This place is something special. What else is it worth exploring in Aptos? One of my personal favorites is the polo fields. Nowadays, they're a popular community park with a history as a racetrack built by Claus Spreckles the sugar millionaire that founded CNH Sugar. He built the racetrack for his world famous racehorses. The racetrack was later converted into a polo field. Eventually, the field has been turned into the park we know today. Shh, don't tell anyone about this place. This is my special spot. This is where the kids play soccer. There's baseball games out here. There's a pump track for biking. We've got a dog park and there's not a house in sight. The hawks are soaring around. It's always sunny. This spot is beautiful.
Okay. What is up with that ship? Storms over the years have broken down this cement ship and turned it into what it looks like today. But over a hundred years ago, it was once a bustling amusement center, complete with a restaurant, live music, and a dance hall. Can you imagine that? Originally built in World War I out of concrete when there was a steel shortage, and it was called the SS Palo Alto. Nowadays, the ship is completely transformed and is a bustling marine habitat. A visit to Seacliff State Beach is like a visit to history, seeing what's currently there today and envisioning what was there in the past. All right, now you guys have seen some of the history of Aptos, and now you can see behind me the reason why people just love our community. We're smack in the middle of the Monterey Bay. We have some of the most pristine beaches. This place and the sense of community here is unparalleled on the Central Coast. The landscape, the industry, and the population may shift, but what will never change is where Aptos sits on the Monterey Bay the beautiful scenery of the redwoods meeting the ocean. Aptos will remain a popular, vibrant, and beautiful place to live. From all over the world, visitors will continue to come to Aptos, whether it be temporary or permanent, and they'll continue to write new history here. What makes Aptos so special is the place itself and the stories we're now writing here today. I'm looking forward to seeing your smiling face here in Aptos.